What you're listening to right now is a musical pattern based on earthquakes since the 1700s. Every blink of the top LED represents a day. The second LED blinks if an earthquake was recorded during that day. The third one blinks if that earthquake was magnitude 8 or up. And the fourth one blinks if a major earthquake was recorded within the Philippines. My name is Benji. My background is in computer science and geoinformatics. I currently work for Project Airmove. It's a DUST funded project based in UP Diliman. Our focus is on ambient air quality monitoring. For this show and tell, however, I will be talking about another very special interest of mine, which is music. This is my modular synthesizer system. I built it myself. You can think of it as your typical electric piano or synthesizer, but with its parts broken down into individual modules that I can swap around and modify. We can classify the modules into three main categories for the sake of this discussion. First are the audio sources. These are the ones that make the sounds. The processors are the ones that tweak and modify these signals. And finally, the sequencers and controllers, which tell the audio sources and the processors what to do. The module that I'll talk about is called Auras. It's a sequencer that I designed that takes in a text file and uses the data in that file to produce a pattern. You can then use that pattern of signals to trigger events such as a drum hit, or a bell, or a piano key press per se. In this one, I made a beat using what's called a 5 to 4 to 3 polyrhythm. That file looks like this. One output goes off every 5 beats, the other every 4, and the third one every 3. Since you could do pretty much anything with a file, I thought I could use other more interesting datasets to form a pattern, especially ones that you could plot over time, like natural events. One of the datasets that came to mind was the earthquake data that I used for one of my master's classes. I downloaded free earthquake data from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration of the US. I then used Jupyter Notebook and Pandas to prepare it for my synth. This is what it looks like. First, we import the essential libraries that we're gonna use later. I downloaded the data manually from the US NOAA site. I then read the CSV file and loaded that into a data frame. I checked the columns. I also checked the location data. So here we see the, that the data is represented in a well-known text format. I do some basic data cleanup, so I remove rows with no dates. Uh, I make sure that the numbers were parsed correctly, so uh, I make sure that years are represented in integers and so on. I also remove the years before the 1700s. And then I, I create a new column called date. I make sure that the date column is an actual Python date object. After cleaning up the data, I can now do some filtering. So the first one that I did was to extract great earthquakes, which are those with magnitude 8 or up. I use a polygon that represents the bounds of the Philippines. I load that into Shapely and then use that Shapely object as a filter for my geodata frame. I use the intersects function for that. With that, I get a list of all earthquakes since the 1700s that are located within the Philippines. Finally, I loop through each day since the 1700 and then I build my text file. So in the text file, we have one row per day. And then for each column, we use our filtered data frames. So for the first column, we just use the first data frame that we had. So uh, if there was an earthquake during that day, it will be one. If none, it will be zero. For the second column, if there was a great earthquake, which is magnitude 8 or up, it will be 1. 
For the third column, it would be marked 1 if there was an earthquake within the Philippines. Listening to your data was very interesting to me. I have in the past let this run for an hour or so, and it was cool to hear the earthquakes pass in clusters of 2 to 3 or even more. It was made even more interesting knowing that these were actual events that happened. I have yet to try this on other datasets. I'm pretty sure other things like typhoons or planetary movements will also produce interesting patterns. I would like to thank the Philippine Space Agency for doing this series of events. I applaud your efforts for reaching out to people, especially students, and teaching different techniques in dealing with space data. If you're interested in doing something like this, I encourage you to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Modular or on YouTube at Benji Chow. I post a lot about synth DIY and other making stuff such as 3D printing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I somehow was able to demonstrate that data can be musical too.